To start the weekend, corn and wheat followed. Michelle Rook is back with more on if a recovery could be coming in markets now. Well, a tough day in the grains on Monday to start the week. Kent Beadle with Paradigm Futures is back with us. And Kent, kind of a bloodbath in the grains on Monday. How much of it was technical selling versus maybe traders looking at this extended weather forecast? Well, uh, it's both for sure. Um, the large speculator is uh, short the grains and he's getting shorter. Um, but he has a reason uh, for wanting to get shorter. And that is, a, uh, you know, some of last week's rally was based on the hotter, drier forecast for the eastern Corn Belt. And those uh, forecasts are now uh, set to moderate. Uh, sometime around next Sunday and probably for three, four days thereafter. And with that moderation in temperatures, there is an increased chance of rainfall. Now, nobody has seen general rainfall in that time period. It's looking more like 30 to 40 percent chance, and they're going to need it after this week's heat. Uh, but just a little cooler and 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 wetter on the, on the 8 to 14 days is, is what had traders selling. And of course, they're getting a lot of negative technical signals in this market. Both corn and beans have taken out some major moving averages, haven't they? Uh, yeah. On Thursday afternoon, we closed uh, corn above the 45, the 50-day, and the 100-day moving averages. We moved back below those on Friday and, and got a lot of follow-through here. We're going to be uh, uh, targeting now uh, the lows from June and, and maybe even the lows from February uh, on this move lower. And wheat is following the Matif wheat, or is that these uh, better than expected yields? Well, we're getting better expected yields in the hard red winter wheat areas. Uh, I don't think the yields are better than expected in the soft red areas. It's kind of early, but uh, uh, the excess rainfall that they had earlier this season and some disease pressure has uh, uh, trimmed some of those yields back. But uh, the speculator was very long in Europe, and uh, they've been running here for the exits um, as, you know, we've had some bad technical trade. So true. Thanks so much. Kent Beadle with Paradigm Futures. We'll have more egg day coming up. Watch Markets Now with Michelle Rook on the Farm Journal YouTube channel, keeping you updated throughout the day on the markets at the open midday and close. Find out what moved the markets today and what to expect the market to do next.